These days in the United States, there are long lines of cars waiting to collect free food at food banks because so many have lost their jobs. I'm not come regularly, but it's, I'm starting about three, four months. Coming here for more than five years. Located some 16 kilometers from Washington, D.C., Darul Hijra Islamic Center offers free groceries to needy people. For some, this is their first visit. For others, they have been coming here for years to get food for their families. Such as some potatoes, onions. Some Social worker Nabila Om Salam yeah, says the grocery package includes halal chicken as well as basic vegetables like onions, tomatoes and potatoes. Hunger in America is not new, but the problem has become worse because of the coronavirus pandemic, which has caused so many to lose their livelihood. Feeding America, a non-governmental charity organization, estimates one in six Americans could face hunger because of the pandemic. Food banks across the country are seeing a rise in demand as unemployed Americans seek assistance. People think, you know, you're living in America, oh, nobody goes hungry. But you'll be surprised how many people do. You know, if they're going to think, uh, should they uh, save their money for lunch or do they pay their rent? You know, they got to pay their rent first. Hundreds of religious and community centers across the United States, much like Darul Hijra Islamic Center, turn into free food centers every week where groceries from big food banks are distributed among the needy. Feeding America, the biggest food network, runs about 200 food banks nationwide. These non-governmental centers collect several tons of donated food annually, which is distributed to the needy with the help of volunteers. Naeem Beg of the Darul Hijra Islamic Center came to the United States from Pakistan more than 30 years ago. He says the concept of poverty in the United States is different, but the suffering of the poor is the same. Pakistan, India, the definition of poverty or a poor person that we have in Pakistan, India or other countries is when you don't have shoes on your feet and your clothes are torn. But in America, the poor will approach you driving a car. Car is not a luxury here, it is a necessity. Volunteers and other staff say most of those seeking help are neither well-educated nor speak English well enough to get a good job. This group of people has never had an easy life in the United States to begin with. But the COVID pandemic has widened the gap between rich and the poor in the world's largest economy. Nukhbat Malik, VOA News, Falls Church, Virginia.